All right, we're going to get into scheduling for this week, and uh, this week is still continued for, um, even though it's, well, I guess it is still August. So we're going to be working off August allocations for scheduling. In fact, that reminds me, uh, let's get into the terminology real quick. Some of you probably been with us. You That's probably already know all that stuff, but here we go. Um, so what we're talking about during this segment is scheduling of orders for production dates. And to do that, those orders have to be placed in the order bank. So Giving that order to your dealer doesn't necessarily mean it's in there. They actually have to place that order in there. And all orders are placed in the order bank, whether it be a stock or retail. And a retail order is a customer-placed order. That is when you go in and you want to uh, order a vehicle that's going to be specifically made for you. That is a retail order. A stock order is one that is being uh, put in by the dealership or by Ford for stock inventory. So what if Ford will do sometimes is they'll slide orders in for dealers if they don't have stock orders if they see they have allocations but not enough orders in there, they'll go ahead and, and preload what they call SIM orders for the dealers uh, to make sure they, their allocations get fulfilled, which we're going to talk about in a second. Now, those orders are put in with a priority code in mind. Priority code can be given. A retail order gets anything from an 03 to 19. A stock one gets anything from a 20 to an 80. And the lower, the better. It's like golf, I always like to say. And for that reason, retail orders will always be looked at first. So if it has the same configuration as a stock order, the retail will be get scheduled before a stock order. Uh, scheduling, that is when the Ford schedules an order for production dates in the future months. They always do that on Thursdays. Not every Thursday, though, depending on if their plant is closed or whatever. It's a holiday. Um, but they'll do those on Thursdays. And uh, some plants will schedule every week. Some won't schedule some weeks and not others. And that's what we talk about in here of which plants are scheduling, which ones aren't. And then uh, production dates. Uh, they usually schedule those orders for dates in the future months. So they usually schedule about two months out. So once it first gets scheduled, it'll get scheduled to the week. And as they get closer, it'll change to that certain day of the week that that order is scheduled. Now let's talk about allocations because allocations are needed. So Ford gives dealers allocations to schedule their orders. Having a retail order does not guarantee they're going to get an allocation. Uh, it all is completely based on their sales uh, for their sales within their region for each particular model. So a dealer could be could get a lot of allocations for one model and not for another. And if you place your order in there, it doesn't guarantee it could sit in there for a couple of months if a dealer doesn't um, usually sell well on that particular model. It can take a little longer. That's why you got to have the conversation with your dealers and find out, you know, whatever model you're looking at, how much, how many allocations do they normally get each month. And how long would it probably take for mine to get scheduled? Uh, constraints, those are options that are in short supply or may take longer to build like based on the capacity. So capacity numbers are what Ford aligns for each different uh, you know, trim level. Um, they might say, hey, we're going to we plan to have capacity for XL is this XLT is a certain number. That's your capacity. And sometimes if the orders over see what capacity is, that's where we get that constraint or that longer to get scheduled. Job one and two. Now, this is where production uh, runs into two different jobs. So what they'll do is when the first model year launches, it'll be a job one. And then if they want to introduce a new feature, a new trim level, something like that, or maybe it's not ready at the beginning of the model year, then they'll create what they call a job two. And that can and, and they can change that whenever they want. On the Maverick, it's only three months after job one. But on most models, it's about six months after uh, job one opens that we'll see job two order banks open and anything unscheduled to that point will end up being a job to build. Balance out, that's the end of production or the balance out of, a, of something they can produce or an option or something like that. Oh, it's not. There we go. It kept tricking out on me. I should pre-record that because it's like the same thing every week. Uh, some weeks I do a better job of uh, going over it than others. All right. So this uh, week, let's start with the uh, 24 model year Mustang. Uh, the Mustang, uh, there's currently, and I don't know if these numbers are right because they really spiked on a lot of models. And uh, so I'm really curious on whether or not they're right. Uh, but so according to this, there's about 961 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank for the Mustang for the 24 model year. 
Uh, order banks are closed for retail ordering, but still open for stock because we still have a little bit of time to schedule those. So they, they allow for those uh, those orders to, uh, for dealers to be able to order stock if they get an allocation for it. Uh, but the 25 model year Mustang order banks are open. If you want to place an order right now, you'd want to you'd want to place a 25 model year order. Um, the they are scheduling this week uh, for production dates in October through October 28th, the week of October 28th. Um, it does say balance out. So this this is probably the last week they're going to schedule a 24 model year Mustang uh, for the balance out of production. Uh, I don't remember what that last day to produce uh, 24 model year is, uh, but it just it'll be sometime in, uh, at the end of October, maybe early November. All right. Um, does say here dealers with an open allocation should consider amending their orders by changing from the manual transmission to the automatic transmission and removing the black painted roof. This will increase the chances of being selected for scheduling. They want dealers to use their allocations uh, so they don't carry over to the next month. Um, some situations, <laughs> you know, like us, we've, we've learned that and sometimes we want those to carry over. Um, all right. Um, does say in here... Um, See limited availability for the the 5.0 liter that they put in the dark horse. Also limited availability for the night pony package uh, for the six speed manual transmission. Um, both the one that's in the GT as well as the one for the um, the dark horse. Sorry, I think about it for a second. And then also limited availability for the eight the 18 inch ebony black painted aluminum wheel. Exhausted availability for the 5.0 liter engine. So they're looking for EcoBoost orders at this point. Um, there are also exhaust availability for the 19 by eight and a half inch ebony black painted wheel. So those are both the, the black painted wheels. I believe both of those are the ones from the night pony package. Um, and then the black painted roof again, night pony package stuff. So, um, so I would say try to stay away from night pony package. If you're wanting to get selected for scheduling, um, if you have like a night pony package, you have a dark horse, you have a GT, Chances are pretty skim or pretty slim, <laughs> and so you probably need to put in an order for 25 model year at this point. Um, 25 model year escape. Currently, 337 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. The order banks are open up for the 25 model year, um, and they are scheduled this week for production dates in October. Um, main commitment: uh, exhaust availability for the 17-inch Shadow Silver painted aluminum wheel. As uh, with the, the tire that goes along with that, um, that is the uh, tire that's standard on all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive. Um, there you go. And also it says with the panoramic Vista roof. I don't know how a tire would affect the roof, but there you go. Um, so really not too many constraints on the escape at, yet. So <laughs> uh, next up is the 24 model year Bronco Sport. Currently 249 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. Uh, the order banks are closed for the 24 model year, but they are open now for the 25 model year. So you can place that 24, 25 model year order for the Bronco Sport. Uh, they are open. Uh, see this week they are scheduling. And I think some of those 249, I noticed that number really spiked up, I think are the 25 model year orders. Um, so I think that it's showing both in there. Um, they are scheduled for the week of, or the month in October. For build dates, this, is, this says this is balance out scheduling for the 24 model year. So this is it for that. So basically, if you don't get scheduled at the end of this month and you have a 24 order, then you better place a 25 because you're not going to get it scheduled. Um, it says important notice in here that they for dealers that have allocations and don't have orders, they are putting in orders for them. And it says um, 24 model year Broncos sport uh, orders were generated this past weekend to align balance to go uh, balance to go allocation with 2.0 liter powertrain balance out volumes for the Broncos sport. That's your Badlands, so they're balanced out. It sounds like to me. It says due to production changes outside. Of OTD 2.0 liter orders were generated with end remaining allocation and will be available on Monday um, to review and dressing. So it does say actually that they're trying to get some 2.0 orders in there. So that's good. Um, so if you have one of those, limit availability for the Oxford White painted aluminum wheel, that's the Heritage Edition wheel. Uh, exhaust availability for the 1.5 liter EcoBoost. So there's why they're wanting 2.0 orders, which in my opinion, we sell the, actually the Badlands better. Just, uh, but for a long time, we couldn't put in a stock order for Badlands. Also, um, the exhaust availability for the 18-inch machine face aluminum ebony black painted wheel. 
and for the outer banks as well as the 18 inch machine faced ebony black painted wheel that's optional on the big bend that's your black appearance package wheel and then black appearance package also is balanced out for the big bean big bend series so there you go all right next up 24 model year bronco I don't know why, but the orders, unscheduled orders went from a thousand to four thousand and ninety-nine. Not sure if that's accurate or not. So it's usually pretty accurate, but man, that spiked up. I don't it's hard for me to believe that three thousand retail orders were put in, but maybe some big company put in a bunch for something. I don't know. Anyway, order banks are open up still for the 24 model year. Um, it, with the exception of your heritage editions, uh, the four-door heritage edition is closed. Um, as I think the two door heritage edition is still open and your heritage limited has been balanced out. So those are all closed up there and no more Everglades too. Um, let's see here. They are scheduled this week for uh, build dates in October. Um, uh, main commitment there. I did see, we had a bunch that were previewing this week. So it looks like they're ready to do some scheduling there. Um, this, a, as we mentioned, Bronco heritage limited is balanced out. Um, also it does say an, uh, Oh, okay. Uh, dealers that want to, they can put orders in Party 99. I don't know why they would do that. Uh, I don't think there's a need for that. Um, and then best availability is the uh, two-door version. They're needing two doors. Limit availability for four-door mm -hmm. versions. So if you're looking to get a two-door, there you go. Really, at this point, most dealerships should be able to get your order scheduled on a Bronco if you want to place one. It's not that, not that difficult there. Uh, next up, 24 model year Mach-E. There's currently 36 unscheduled retail orders in order bank. The order banks are open up for the 24 model year. Um, they are not going to be scheduling at the plant this week. 25 model year Explorer. Currently 291 unscheduled retail orders in the order banks and not that many. The order banks are open up for the 25 model year. They are scheduling this week for build dates in October. And uh, limit availability for the 3.0 liter EcoBoost engine. That's the one that's in ST as well as the platinum upgraded platinum uh the active version is also limited availability and the 20 inch carbonized gray paint aluminum wheel that's wheel option 64y if you're looking at your orders and then exhaust availability for the st version the platinum version um and then also exhaust availability for four wheel drive the 18 inch sparkle silver paint aluminum wheel that's the one in the active and then a the black painted roof as well which you can add if you wanted as optional equipment and then the ultimate package that's on the platinum so really it looks like to me when if you're looking through and you know the trims well st line is pretty much what they can schedule right now so there again this is one of the, some of the last weeks of scheduling for that those months and so they're just trying to hey they they know what they can make in a way of these other ones here are the things that they can't schedule for because they're pretty much scheduled. They have all those scheduled out. So now they just need to fill in the holes with other orders that they can uh, produce uh, to full capacity for the month. Right. So that's what they're trying to do here. Uh, 24 model year expedition, uh, currently 392 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. The order banks are still open up for the 24 model year, although I don't know how much longer. I can tell you much more about that. Um, they are scheduled this week for the week build weeks in October. Um, and then the only exhaust availability is a 20 inch six spoke gloss black painted aluminum wheel or painted wheel uh, that's optional on the XLT and included in the black accent package. So other than that, good to go on expedition. Uh, all right. 24 model year Maverick. Uh, the, uh, I don't know if this is, I think this is a combination of 24 and 25 model year orders. It does say 14,302. Last week it was less than 2,000 for 24 model year. So I think this is including 25 and 24 model year. That's just my opinion on that. Um, the order banks are closed for 24 model year, but open for the 25 model year order um, if you want to place your orders. Um, they are scheduling again. They're, they're scheduling for 24 model year. They're not scheduled for 25 model year yet uh, this month for build dates in October. Uh, this is balance out scheduling. So they're going to try to finish it up this week. Uh, I don't know if they're going to end up scheduling next week, but they want to try to finish that out, figure out what their commitment is for uh, the very end of production for the 24 model year. Um, so it does say in here. Um, yeah, skip some of the stuff that's for dealers. Um, all right. Limit availability for the 2.5 liter hybrid, as well as a 2.0 EcoBoost engine. 
yeah, go figure. That just means that they need to figure in. They just have a few of each to just try to fill in holes. Also, limb availability for the modular drop-in bed liner. Exhaust availability on the XL and XLT, as well as front-wheel drive, as well as the black appearance package, and the 17-inch carbonized gray paint aluminum wheel that's standard on the XLT. So good luck trying to figure out what they can sketch. <laughs> but again, they're just trying to fill in the last remaining ones for the end of production for 25 or 24 model year before going on to 25 model year. All right. Next up, 24 model year Ranger. Uh, the order banks are open up right now. They are closing. Actually, let's just go ahead and go over that. They are closing tomorrow. So tomorrow is the last day to, to be able to order a 24 model year Ranger. So there you go. All right, and that it says, um, ooh, and then it says more information will be available on the 25 model year Ranger soon, including the return of the black appearance package. Hey, it's in the bulletin. I'm just, I think I can say that on um, this is not a media deal thing. So I think we're good there. So there you go, which I actually first time, I actually just saw the order bank thing and just said, I'll just read it off. Um, but there you go. Or um, orders can be submitted. It says dealers will have until 4 p.m. That's normally do 8 p.m. Eastern time. So th tomorrow, 3 o'clock in Salina um, is the last time you can order a 24 model year Ranger. Um, and then we can, then they're moving on to 25. So I'm not sure when the order banks are going to open up for 25. Let's see it. Let me read this. It doesn't say it in here. Order banks are closed on the Raptor as well. Stock ordering will be still be open. They are scheduled this week. There's currently 1,211 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. They are scheduled for the, this week for the month uh, week or for the month of October. And there's still going to be a, probably another month of scheduling. Even if the order banks do open up here like real soon, um, they're still going to need to schedule 24s. So if you have, if you're one of those 1,211 orders, don't feel like it's not, if it doesn't happen this week, it's not going to happen. You still have about a non, another month of it possibly getting scheduled. Now, if you're looking at a Raptor, you got to talk to your dealer about whether or not they have a Raptor allocation um, because if they don't get one for next month, then your Raptor won't get scheduled. It's just, it's, it's just not going to um, limb availability for the forged capable wheel. That's optional on the Raptor as well as the 17 inch gray paint aluminum wheel that's included in the XLT sport appearance package. So, which is standard on those now. All right. Next up is a 24 model year super duty. Um, again, I don't know how accurate this is because the numbers just spiked. Now it's saying there's currently 21,000 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank when it was like 13,000 last week. So I don't know what's happening. Um, doesn't seem like they would have gotten gained 7,000 orders in one week, but I don't know. Maybe they're going to be contract. Um, order banks are still open up for the 24 model year Super Duty. People ask every single week, what information do you have for 25? And I can tell you we have no information about 25 model year. And I'm not lying. Um, they haven't told me anything. So it's not – I just don't know. Um, and, uh, they are scheduled this week for the weeks in Kentucky truck plant for the weeks of nine 23 through the weeks of 10, seven and Ohio for the same weeks. And then let's see, um, there's a lot of information in here for dealers about those 2.6.8 liter engine orders that they're asking dealers to take, um, to keep production levels up. Um, I, here's what I envision in the near future is I envision some huge rebates, and some low interest rates on 6.8 liter F250 orders for XL. I, I see it coming. It's just uh, right. I said it here first. Anyway, required orders. Uh, they they're wanting the 6.8 liter XL orders again to keep up production without the heavy duty standard alternator. They're also needing F250 and 350 XLT orders and lariats with the 7.3 liter engine um, without the gooseneck fifth wheel gooseneck hitch prep package. So yeah. And it says required orders. It's like Ford, we've already, you, you've, you've taken all the, all that you could have from us. <laughs> Just leave us alone with that. Uh, limit availability for the F250, F450, and F550 series. Uh, also limit availability for the limited trim level. Um, and then also limit, actually all these are limit availability. So the pickup box delete that with the 6.8 liter gas engine, the 18 inch sparkle silver painted cast aluminum wheel, um, that's uh, standard on the XLT with F250 and 350 single rear wheel. Um, also, the tire, uh, TDX is the tire code. It's an LT27570R18E uh, tire 
<clears throat> that's an all-terrain, that's four uh, four by four tire that is standard on the Lariat F250s and F350 single row wheels. And then if it's a lug nut, it's constrained right now. If there's uh, the lug nut cap that you see on like all your uh, big trucks, um, those are, I mean, there's four of them listed. Um, more than likely, if it's has a lug nut cap to it, it's constrained. <laughs> uh, this the uh, Sterling ten and a half axle that's available on the six point eight liter F two fifty F three fifty or the seven three F two fifty single rear wheel pickups, and then a three hundred sixty degree camera package, which is standard on Lariat King Ranch Platinum and Limited. Optional on XL and XLT is also limited availability. So uh, right now they're probably just trying to fill fill in those last holes for those dates. Uh, that are listed before moving on to next week. All right, 24 model year F-150. There's currently 7,240 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. Uh, the order banks are closed for 24, but open as of yesterday for the 25 model year F-150. And I did a video that went live today on the changes for 25 model year. They did bring back the 300A and the 500A, uh, which is the XLT and the Lariat. Uh, equipment groups and they brought and they introduced a new stx one so you don't have to go up to 20 inch wheel if you don't want to uh anyway check out that video about all the details on that um there you go um so it does say in here limit availability for the 3.5 liter hybrid as well as the 2.7 uh, liter ecoboost engine also limit availability for the tough bed spray and liner the 20 inch dark gray with the machine aluminum wheel that's standard on the stx and then also the tire that's also included on the STX 201A. That's a 265-70R18 all-terrain tire. That's tire number T8C if that's on your order. So, all right. Lastly, 24 model year transit. Currently 6,053 unscheduled retail orders in the order bank. The order banks are still open up for the 24 model year. They are scheduled this week for the weeks of 1014 or the week of 1021. Um, they are needing some low roof version. Uh, cargo van orders uh, to keep production up. Uh, transit orders with a trail package will not be selected for scheduling this week. And limit availability for the auxiliary heater, AC prep package without the rear controls, and the front rear auxiliary AC heater, the driver control. So uh, anyway, so that's not too bad. Just a few things there. So there you go. So now if you're watching this course live with us, I can take your questions. If you have any questions on this, then I can answer. Uh, we'll take those now. If you're watching the recorded version, drop those down in the comments and we'll answer those as soon as we can.